Hi. As part of McCarthy Group's ongoing investor education series, today we're going to be bringing you the property clock, and in particular, the boom part of that cycle. And with me in the studio is Klaus Weil, our resident builder, and Klaus is going to help me explain what are some of the key aspects that we see when the property market moves into the boom stage. Now Klaus, we're moving <laughs> into a boom. I want to talk about your favourite friends, the tradespeople. What do you wow. see begins to happen in the boom and our tradespeople? Well, it's a bit of a crazy time, really. Um, everything's increasing. Your, your, all your subcontractors, are generally the prices are going north. Uh, all of a sudden, the suppliers, uh, the prices are rising. I've got one story on that. Um, a set of trusses was in the bottom of the market. Trusses, those are the things that hold the roof yeah, up, right? Yeah, that's, that's the roof. Technical. They were... Um, uh, there was, they went up 100% in the last property cycling cans. 100%. 100%. And okay. it was like, wow. So that's like from six and a half thousand up to thirteen thousand okay. dollars in okay. the top of the cycle. So if you bought property prior to that boom going up and you didn't pay those prices, you're going to be sitting fairly well, aren't you? Sure, sure. Now there's one part of the property cycle we actually recommend of the of the four parts. Is one part we actually recommend you should try and stay out of, and this is this segment here, because this gets a little bit crazy. Like the media really fan the fires, and they they introduce this fear of um, the fear of missing out. Yeah. Uh, and so a lot you of get, frenzy buying. Yeah, so a lot you of frenzy buying. Frenzy it's buying, like yeah. they're scaremongering now, people. If you're not in it, you're going to lose. Yeah. You know? And of course, with that, the, the buyers of property get more and more confidence to keep asking more. And it all becomes self-fulfilling, doesn't it? Auction rooms go crazy, uh, um, open for inspections go crazy. And it's a really hot part of the market, which both, I know you, you've said that you actually don't enjoy it. I certainly don't enjoy it. Not from a business point of view. No, no. because it, it's absolutely hectic. But so a, a part of the market probably is the best part to be setting out and waiting just to the other side until the market starts to slow down again. Sure, but even if you do buy in that, period. Mm -hmm. If you wait a whole cycle again, it comes back again. It comes back again. Eventually yeah. it does come back. And that's essentially why um, property investment is a long-term investment, isn't it? Exactly. And, and from beginning to end, we're seeing it anywhere between, what, seven to ten years or so for the property market to go for its full cycle. A complete correction. Yeah. yeah. Now, if you'd like to know more about the property clock, how it works and how you can read it, we've produced a free guide. It's available. Just download there. You can see the link at the bottom of the screen. Uh, be my guest and... Uh, so take advantage of that. Thank you.